In her mid-30s and the mother of two daughters, Tando Enogulche, actress and entrepreneur Pearl Tusi is in her creative prime. But between film roles, business commitments, and most importantly, being mom, she felt the need to connect with something pure and simple, which brought her and her eldest daughter to explore new frontiers. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Pearl Tusi, and this is Tando. Okay. <laughs> and this is Tando, as you heard it, my beautiful daughter. We are doing a mommy and me trip right here in Mozambique. Mozambique. And we are on our way to Fire Island. The reason traveling with my mom is like so important for me is because like we used to do it a lot. But then since COVID, you know, a lot of things stopped. But now, like, I'm happy to be back with you. Oh, I love that. I think it's so special for us to travel together because we really get to spend time with each other without any distractions of work or the dogs or family members or anything um, outside of where we are right now. We get to just create our own little world for a week and get to know each other better because she's changing a lot these days. <laughs> A private boat from Maputo Marina, an hour and a half south, brought the travelers to the Loggerhead Beach Villa. Oh my Wow. Goodness. How do you get to live here every day? Wow, this is beautiful! So I could have had this experience with quite a few people. You know a lot of my friends <laughs> wanted to come. But uh, I chose to do it with you because we haven't really spent this type of time together in a while. So I'm excited to do this with you and I just want to connect with you and treat you. You've been so amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I love you. a little break. I love you. It was 200 kilometers south of the capital, in the dunes of the Machangulo Peninsula, that Jan van Gieventer had an ecotourism revelation. I'm Jan, CEO of the Fire Island Eco Retreat Group. It started in about 2012 when a friend of mine purchased an island in the north of Mozambique and we were going to put up a boutique resort and after spending some time there we realized that if we did that we would completely destroy the ecosystem and the marine life and we decided to rather turn it into a marine sanctuary and that's that's what brought us to the Mashangulu Reserve and after spending some time here we decided to invest in the area and make it almost kind of a a soft entry into Mozambique for potential tourists and also to help us sustain our conservation efforts in the north. And one thing led to another and from the island we now have 11 properties in South Africa and Mozambique. And everything is geared for ecotourism. Okay, powerful view as you can see. I'm going to have to do one of those panoramic shots right here with my camera. Nice. Love those ceilings. Okay, I love the decor. It's very subtle, calm, quaint, and you know, charming. One thing about me, sweetie, I will take a bath. I love this. And the fact that you can just see everything, nature, all around you, it's almost as if you are doing it outside. I wanted to design my bedroom like this. This is crazy. Was I trying to make my bedroom a chalet? What I care a lot about when I'm going to choose a hotel, I'm just after good energy. Is the place neat? Is it well taken care of? Is it comfortable? And is it going to be safe, I guess? Um, so when there are little touches that matter to me that I wasn't even really thinking about, that I find in a place that makes it feel like home, then it's really, really special. One glorious sleep later, mother and daughter had the perfect wake-up call of a yoga class with Kristen Routledge. So this morning we're just going to do some sun salutations. It's a nice reviving wake-up, you know, start the day with focus and refreshing. So I'd like you guys to start off at the back of your mat, focus on our breathing. And as you breathe in, I want you to put your arms up. And then as you breathe out, I want you to bend down as close to your toes as you can go. And then just walk your hands to the front of the mat. And then from here, we're gonna go into upward facing dog. It's just a, always a great way to start the day, to do yoga and to just greet the sun. And it's always good to stretch your body. I have to keep up with her 
So I have to try and make sure I'm nimble and I can move around. I love yoga. I've been doing yoga for years and I've even gone to India to learn about yoga and the more spiritual and cerebral aspect of it. And uh, it just always kind of makes me calm. I can get a bit worked up. So to just find ways to be calm, relaxed and there's nothing quite as special as doing yoga in a place where you can be in nature and be a part of something that you realize is much greater than what you are, you know? So yoga is not just about how you can contort your body and stretch and twist and turn into a pretzel. Yoga is also about really your mind and your spirit and connecting all those things at the same time and mastering that. And it's a long journey, it's a long process and I probably think you never stop learning. I enjoyed it. Um... And to get to do it with her is really cool. I drag her as often as I can, but like, this is one of the things I want to pass on to her. I enjoyed it. I, my favorite part was like when I would do downward dog and like look at the ocean, you know what I mean? And like just hearing it while I'm doing it and closing my eyes. I, I enjoy that aspect of it because it feels more natural. With the Dows out for the morning catch, the visitors were ready to take in the famous sights beneath the sea. Because baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Hey, hey, ain't no Where's all this enough. energy coming from? Woo! So Balea has arrived and we're about to enter and be on our way to do our activity for the day, our second activity for the day, which is basically all around water sports and it's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm so excited. There's lots you learn while connecting with your child. I think I try and include her in as much as I can include her in. Now she's old enough for, for me to even include her in a lot of what I do work-wise. But in terms of walking the dogs or going to the gym, going to yoga, going to her soccer or art things at school, it's a big test for our relationship as well because I can be quite intense. What I need to learn as her mother is to enjoy the journey of figuring that out, you know? I don't want to lie, I don't know if I've quite figured that out, but enjoying the journey and the process and not wanting to fix every little thing along the way is what I'm learning. And for her, it's learning to also not just focus on the journey and having fun on the way, but to, you also need to get to where you're going, you know? So it's, it's, it's just balancing it out. Like, I love snorkeling, I love being underwater. It also just reminds me to breathe and calm down because sometimes I get a bit like flustered when I get in there and then there's a point where it's like everything just levels out and there's all these beautiful fish and coral reefs and just things you've never seen in your life before so that was pretty cool and the fish is really beautiful yeah I really enjoyed the snorkeling I know I was there for like a short amount of time but I really enjoyed it I, re I did I saw a lionfish and then I was like, you know what? I'm on the mood to, you know, get poisoned or whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a moment to myself on the side of the boat. Marine biologist, Dr. Wallace Nichols holds that any time spent by, in or underwater has a wealth of emotional and mental benefits, even when navigating slightly troubled waters. Kayaking was challenging for us because I'm like trying to be like, okay, let me let her lead. And as she was leading, I was getting frustrated because now our paddles are hitting each other. So in a way, sometimes I had to lead from the back, but with kindness. So we're all learning powerful lessons here. We had a great time with the kayaking. It was cool. We just went from after, all the way there. After the, there. the little swimming after the kayaking, like just to refresh your body. Because then when you kayak, there's just like the, spring, the sprinkles of, of water. Yeah. So just to get all the water there. But we, we had a start point and a finish point and we made it. So the team, worked 100%. because the dream worked 100%. 100%. So thank you so much for your leadership. leadership. You too. Thank you. Well done. To the local fishermen too. The catch was in and you could smell chef's renowned piri piri sauce from Maputo. Ooh, these look so good. And you're making them right here fresh on the fire. Yeah. Powerful. That does look really thank good. Thank you, obrigado. Okay, enjoy that. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I wanted to do something completely different. I wanted to be a wildlife vet, so that's why I enjoy the great outdoors so much. 
And then somehow I started modeling in the hood and that turned into me modeling for a living at some point. And then I realized at some point in my modeling career, I was doing mostly commercial. So I enjoy performing more than I do posing really. And so I started chasing the dream of acting and I'd done drama in school. I planned to study drama in university before I procreated. Then one thing led to another and here I am now. I can't believe I did this thing while being a young mother. I can believe it at the same time because of the type of people I had around me. There's been people who have truly been there to make sure that I could stand and have been parenting her with me along the way because a lot of the time we were alone. So that's, that's amazing that I can say that. I have incredible friends who've made sure that I could actually get through something like that. I admire that my mom did it alone. Like you were a parent, you were a provider, you were an actress, you were a model, you know what I mean? You were like all those things and you were great at all of them, in my opinion. In my opinion. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I know we've had lots of adventure, but our journey definitely doesn't end here, does it? It does not at all. Where's it gonna be? We don't know, we don't know. Just catch us back. <laughs>